All right, guys. So we got here the Evo 4G 63 uh, DSG adaption kit uh, for the DQ500 gearbox. Uh, components: we got the engine to gearbox um, adapter. Uh, unfortunately, it has to be 30 mil thick uh, because the Evo's um, crank sticks out of the block quite a bit. Um, so that comes with your VW side dials as well. And then we've got the transfer case um, support bracket, very important, stop vibrations. Um, that's the transfer case bracket. It comes with its own bolts. The bracket, uh, the adapter comes with all its, all its own bolts as well. Um, and then we've got the crank adapter which goes to your dual mass flywheel. Um, so you've got the one that um, slips onto the crank first. So those will be your crank. Um, the bolts going in there, then we bring this off together um, and with those bolts we join the two halves together and then the flywheel bolts onto this section over here and it comes with your bearing and circlip. So that's the crank to specifically for a dual mesh flywheel which is your OEM flywheel, 8 hole, 8 hole flywheel. Okay, so those, are, oh yes, and then there's one small bracket which I'll show you later on. Uh, also very important. Um, that bracket will be, will be one of the supporting um, mounting brackets. Okay, so let's move to the, the prep work on the, on the block. So, uh, First thing we've got to do is there's um you see the white line there? There is um this little ear of the of the block needs to be cut away. Um so what you want to do is approximately uh 35 mil from the outside of the hole. Just make a, a 35 mil mark that way and 35 more mark that way just get your get your two marks there then then you lay your adapter on onto your locating dials and you use the adapter plate as your deepest uh, um, position okay so now you've got basically like a, a, a three points and that that's roughly 110 millimeter diameter circle which you're going to draw through those three points. So that would be your main, remo main material that must be removed there. Um, once you've got that material removed, next thing you want to do is get the transfer case, uh, sorry, the transfer bracket mounted. Um, so we'll be using that hole and that hole there. Now this square bung over here that needs to be removed but you don't have to take it completely away just lay the transfer case bracket on here and start removing material until the bracket goes on and there's at least an air gap be behind it but at the same time don't only take off where the bracket is take it right all the way through because this is actually going to be in the way of the transfer case as well um, but don't go overboard, just, just enough to clear the bracket and then consistently all the way through. Um, this little bung over here, um, I would just remove that, there's about, probably about 4 millimeters um, material standing proud there. Just, just cut off that 4 millimeter material there. Um, so once you've got that, the top cut away and you've got that cut away, then you want to mount the bracket. Okay. So, so that, that's the bracket mounted with the clearance behind there. As you can see, I grinded it all the way up to that point. Um, and then I removed that little bung there as well. So then you want to actually mount this, mount this transfer bracket. Um, make sure that it's got clearance behind and bolt up the bracket. Okay, so that's your transfer bracket done. Um, the next thing you want to do is... This cutout on top that you did earlier on. Now you're going to start fine tuning. You're going to start fine tuning that 
that cut now. So once the transfer bracket's on, you're gonna take the, take the transfer case and start to slide it, lay it on the bracket and start to move it backwards. And then you'll find, you'll have to just fine tune that cut that you did. Just fine tune it until this transfer bracket goes all the way back and the four holes underneath, um, basically, until you're able to get those bolts in. Uh, once the bolts are in, then you know you, you're basically clear. And um, turn the bolts in by hand, and because the, the holes are oversized in the bracket. So turn the bolts in by hand, push the transfer box maximum, and then take a one millimeter piece of plastic or something, slide it behind there, and make sure there's nothing touching. That's very, very important. You don't want to be touching. You can rather have like a two or three millimeter excess gap between the transfer case and the block. Um, but behind this, this ear over here, you don't want to take too much material off behind this ear. Because this ear now becomes a mounting um, hole as well. So that's the next thing you need to do. Um, at this point, um, you can, um, that hole, uh, factory hole is a 14 millimeter hole. Um, you, what you want to do is drill it out to 14.5 and then take a 16 by 1.5 um, tap and tap that all the way through. It's roughly 15 millimeters material behind there. And then that becomes our new mounting point for the block. Since we've, since we've lost the one mounting hole over here, we lost that mounting hole, this bracket becomes the new mounting, uh, the mounting hole um, that we're replacing. So the strength is back once this is done. Um, okay, but we'll get to this when we got the gearbox on. Um, so once you, you're confident that the, there's enough clearance behind there, at least I'd say like two or three millimeters, um, get a piece of plastic and stick it behind the cardboard and make sure there's nothing touching. Um, then next thing you want to do is uh, make sure your crank's nice and clean. Just just ignore this is a um, uh, it's just a crank we're using for this purpose, but I don't know what happened here. You want to get this one on first. Um, Your, your factory crank uh, balls will fit, even ARPs will clear, there's enough clearance here for the AR, ARPs as well. Um, obviously there's a particular alignment for this, um, for this holes. Yeah, this is not factory balls, I'm just using it for demonstration purpose. Um, so anyway, once, once you got the balls in there, once those bolts are in and torqued up, um, you're then going to go and put the other half on. Line those up and, and then use all the, the supplied hardware for that as well. Uh, very important, lock tight and torque them up nicely. Um, get all Get those all torqued up, crisscross obviously. Get it torqued up nicely with some good Loctite. Um, good luck trying to hold this um, crank still while tightening that. Don't ask me how to do it please. Um, okay, so then, then that's basically your, adapter, your crank adapter done. Um, next up we'll move to the, the main adapter. So this dial and that dial um, those 14 millimeter dials, you, you have to cut them down. Um, they must not protrude beyond the block by more than six millimeters. Um, maximum six mil. The factory ones, I think they stand a little bit proud. Um, so six millimeters on both dials, very important. Okay, then you should easily just be able to drop. Right, that's the bracket on. 
Um, then we've got the supplied hardware for that, which is your, so you've got this, um, in the packet it will show you the, the Evos bolts and the VW bolts. So the Evos bolts is literally just these four. Um, so you've got a 38 mil bolt going in there, you've got a 38 mil bolt going in there. Um, And this one is a 50 more. There's a 50 going in there, and I think this is a 60 with a. Um, this is a 60 long, which is the the, the Allen cap, um, and a washer and a nut, which goes on the back there. Okay. And that, we'll nip that down off camera and get that all tightened up for you. And in the next shot, we'll show you the gearbox actually seated on here with all the bolts in. Um, but before the gearbox can go on, the transfer, transfer, transfer case must now be removed first. You can't, you can't get, it, get the gearbox on like this. So the transfer case now comes off. This all gets torqued down. That's torqued down. Flywheel. Um, let me just show you the flywheel on here before we go off camera. So once you've got this all torqued down and the plate is torqued down, um, you're then gonna you're then gonna lay the flywheel on there, get it all lined up. It's also a certain sequence of of holes, and then. Um, do not use a second hand flywheel at all. Just don't go to this extreme of a swap and use a second hand flywheel. A new flywheel will come with new bolts, which you will use in there. And it comes pre, um, uh, it's got Loctite already on the bolts. Let me actually just get one here to show you. Uh, so, yeah, those are the those are the bolts that come with a new flywheel. So those spline, funny spline shit. Um, so yeah, they get the flywheel in and torque these bolts down. So you've got the crank adapter torqued down, you've got the flywheel torqued down, you've got the adapter plate torqued down, you've got the bracket mounted. Now you're going to remove the transfer case and you're going to drop the gearbox on uh, carefully and bolt the gearbox up and then we'll move on to connecting the, the final transfer case, final fit for the transfer case. So we'll be back now with part two.